Now, the Impact Day forecast from the WGAL News 8 Storm Team. Call this dare since Christmas is moving into the Susquehanna Valley. We will see our wind chills drop to near zero as we head through the night tonight. So this uncomfortable uh, taste of winter building back in across the Susquehanna Valley is the reason we're making today an impact day. We'll stay cold through the day tomorrow, but the winds won't be as intense. And then the cold doesn't hold. Temperatures rise back up above seasonal averages starting Sunday. And then we're back into the 50s a couple of times next week. So outside right now, We've got the blue skies. Yes, we do have the clouds. We also have some flurries in a few locations. We'll keep this type of weather throughout the rest of our afternoon. Right now in York, we are at 25 degrees, but it feels like it's just 12 when you factor in those winds and yeah, grab the chapstick. Dew points are down into the single digits. So we've got that dry air building on in blustery, brisk feels like in the teens across much of the valley this afternoon with a few flurries. Temperatures will hover where they are right now in the low to mid 20s, a few spots up near 30 degrees over night tonight we're dropping down between 8 and 12 degrees but when you factor in the winds that could still gust up to near 20 miles per hour it's going to feel like it's near zero the winds will drop through the day tomorrow it's still going to be brisk at times feels like temperatures will remain in the teens with highs remaining in the 20s for most of the valley so yes it's cold but it's not record breaking cold we did see a high of 37 but that was before the front moved through just before dawn we're dropping to 10 tonight that's the forecast at the airport the record is one below and then for tomorrow forecasting a high of 20 the record coldest high is 15 degrees it has been a blustery day out there lancaster wind gust of 44 miles per hour 35 miles per hour so far out at harrisburg here are the sustained winds right now 25 miles per hour in lancaster 18 for you folks in carlisle where it's 24 degrees in cumberland county 25 at this hour in lebanon so we've got that bitterly cold air it could be worse notice the sub-zero air building across much of Quebec and into Ontario. It's coming straight down from the Hudson Bay across the Northeast. Dangerously cold wind shows likely later tonight up in New England. But for us, it's just an unseasonable cold snap as high pressure is building in across the Great Lakes and will control our weather as we head through the weekend. So watch what happens here on the predictor. Not very much, just a threat of a flurry out there in some locations. We'll get some breaks in the clouds. Temperatures will really start dropping once we get past sunset down into the single digits in a few spots overnight tonight. As we head on into Saturday, high pressure builds back in and we'll start to see the winds change direction. They'll turn out of the south and look what happens to the temperatures. Up they go. We're talking highs back into the 40s by the time we head into Sunday and then into the 50s for Tuesday and Wednesday with increasing clouds and then increasing shower chances by next Wednesday.